Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Phil Rondi Open World Championship Sled Dog Race. My name is Kel Casey, your live stream commentator. On behalf of the Fur Rondi and all of our sponsors and all the mushrooms, we want to say welcome to Anchorage, Alaska. Here's the Anchorage Fire Department. Right now, we're about five minutes from race time. Look at these guys, they'll be holding your sleds today. We got the crowd, look at all these people here from all over the world. We got them from all over the world here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got kiddos sitting in front of the dog sculpture. Woo! Look at all your antlers. Yeah. 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 Woo! And it just keeps going. And it just keeps going. And it just keeps going. Yeah. And look at this. We got cameras everywhere here. This is our our VIP section right here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We got a new nap, our first mushroom, our first start here. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, of course. I'm going to go ahead and hold up for this. There's our list of sponsors here today, friends. It takes a whole community to put on the sled dog race. Thanks to Landon, Tudor Bingo, Ravenwood Veterinary, Pet Emergency Treatment, Steve Cole, Coca Cola Alaska, Alaska Hydro Axe, Rasmussen, Triple A Fence, Atwood, and thanks so much, North Slope Telecom, for all the cell phones. Reverse order today, friends. Chicago, Illinois. Right on. We got Mike Parker here. Right on there. Helping out. So look at these beautiful sun from and who you're cheering for friends yesterday so he gets the honor of going first today reverse start with two minute intervals Hugh Naff running the Northern Whites Dr. Jim Lanier's dog team team number 17 finished 17th yesterday going out first today then we go to team number 16 right on great to see everybody commenting from around the world look at all the people here in downtown Anchorage it is packed here friends it is just a gorgeous day there's our race marshal, Janet Clark, and our Asda crew. Dave Turner up next, friends. Dave Turner from Racing Chaos in Fairbanks, Alaska. He had a great uphill run at Cordova yesterday, but just, I talked to him this morning, he had a few tangles. Right on, Annie. Kriska, thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us, everybody from around the world. We're looking at reverse start today, big number 16. Second team to leave here on fourth. Let's take a look at these babies, beautiful dogs. Yeah, look how beautiful you are. 
Is that more of the Alaskan Husky style dogs? <laughs> Sometimes the dogs paired up like to motivate each other. Look how excited they are. Beautiful, strong Alaskan Huskies here. Dave Turner runs mostly mid-distance races. Yeah, Dave. Go get him, buddy. There you go, Dave Turner, friends. That's what it looks like. Keeping the break on, keeping that team nice and control. Going down Fourth Ave, heading east here in downtown Anchorage, taking a turn on Cordova Street, heading down for 25-mile race day two. You have to bring home tired dogs. You can't drop them off. And you can't start with new dogs on day two or three that didn't race on day one. So everybody who comes out day one yesterday has to keep the dogs either on their team or they don't show, they don't start the next day. So there you go. There's how beautiful the conditions are here. Again, reverse start here. There's your official clock. We got Mandy Johnson here. Mandy Johnson from up in Canada with her four children helping out her husband Armin. Look at that beautiful giving her lead dogs a good kiss. They want to go. They say, okay, mom, does that mean we get to go? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. This lead dog has a job to do and wants to do it. This is what they live for. Give me that trail. Here's Mandy's children here all helping out. There you go, Mandy, up close. With her Anchorage Fire Department support crew holding the sled there. Look at all that effort. Our race veterinary crew over here from Ravenwood Veterinary. Four, three, two, one, go! 107, 17, her time for the first day of racing. Mitchell Mandy Johnson, rookie year. How great is that? Four children all helping out. Her husband, family affair here for sure. Yesterday she had a good day run. Here she is for day two. All 17 teams finished yesterday, friends, so that's a great sign for the Rondi. All 17 teams come back today. I've got the order in the post there. And we have experts from all over the world. We have champions. We have race veterans on this feed, so ask questions. Look at all these great sponsors. And look at all these people here in the Mushing District in Anchorage, Alaska. It is truly awesome. Beautiful day. Here's Mitchell. First musher from Cook, Northwest Territories, and the youngest musher in the Rondi. He is living his dream. It took him seven years to get here with his family and father and relatives all helping out. A lot of pride here. Talking to his lead dogs there, getting them excited. There's some happy dogs there. They want to go from took his way up in Northwest Territory. It takes about three days to get here. It took about seven years to raise all these dogs. And there's Mitchell's father, a musher himself, and a good friend. Staying out of the family. Fifteen. Five, four, three, two, one, go. There they are. Nice job. Look, you can see the brake on there, working the sled speed, making sure he's keeping them nice and controlled. They got about five street crossings that come up right away. Coming up next, this is Frank Haberman. 
so okay, much support from the city of Anchorage. Of Anchorage. Of Anchorage. Everybody, the city of Anchorage does an amazing job with their equipment, the with their professionalism, making these running, streets safe, trucking in snow. Like in it's just an incredible production. Look at people all the way down 4th Ave, everywhere. This place is packed today. The Rondi is alive and well. All right, Dr. Frank Haberman. 14 dogs yesterday, 14 dogs today, and even time of 103. Look at those beautiful blue eyes. Let's look at those eyes. Yeah. You have gorgeous, gorgeous sled dog eyes, and your partner wants to go right now. How great is that? Dr. Frank Haberman uh, was slowed down by a moose yesterday. No injuries, no issues there with the dogs. This moose didn't want to leave the trail. We have a singer here. Some dogs are barkers, some dogs are singers, some dogs are real quiet. <laughs> some dogs want to tell you all about it. <laughs> Isn't that great? Right on. 30 seconds, guys. You still got to wait a little longer. It's a hard thing for some dogs to wait. They're small. Dr. Frank Haberman, day two. With his wheel dogs just trying to bounce out of his harness. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Boy, do they want to go? Do they want to go or what? Dr. Haberman out. He lives in both Clam Gulch, Alaska, and then Germany and Australia where he works. So he's quite the guy here. He is working hard to keep his dogs healthy and the trails open this winter down in Clam Gulch. Day two. Frank Haberman. From North Pole, Alaska, 66 years old, a retired truck driver. First Rondi race was in 1978. Best finish, second place. All right, remember to follow along on K. Har 590 for you international folks. There's a website address in the post here. Again, thanks so much to our sponsors right here. And here's Marvin Cochran. He's been racing since 1975. Good number 12. Lots of family helping out Marvin. They're moving around leaders right now. We'll go ahead and move around some leaders. Marvin Cochran, a crowd favorite here, been racing for many, many years. Again, there's the wheel dogs here. The, the dogs closest to the sled are called wheel dogs. Look at how excited that big baby is. That big boy just wants to go. Sometimes dogs bite, bite the line when they're excited. That sled's held firmly behind the line by the Anchorage Fire Department. They wait for the musher to come back. Often mushers will come back at the last second, like right now. Here's Marvin. 15, 15 seconds will give you a different view here, friends. That's what it looks like looking down a sled dog team. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Here he goes. Here he goes. Marvin Cochran blasting out day two. He's got to make up some positions today. Marvin doesn't quite have the leaders he has had in years past, and so that sometimes slows down a dog team. Leaders are really important for that pacing, especially in Anchorage, 25 miles racing all through the parks. Marvin Cochran, folks. All right, here we go. We got Nikki Sayo here. Nikki Sayo from South Korea living in Salcha. And his wife, family, all proud of Nikki. The only South Korean in the race here. This is his fourth rendezvous. He's having a moment with his lead dogs and wife. Look at all the beautiful crowd here. Mm -hmm. You got to say, I know, you just want to go. They're so focused, so excited. Some dogs are bigger, some dogs are smaller.
There we go here. Oh, are you talking to? Are you talking to? They want to go, friends. All right, Nikki Sale, about ready to blast off here. Bib number 11. Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, Nikki Sale looking back, giving his wife a good high five for helping out. There he is, South Korea and Salch, Alaska. Super kind, brave young man. I've known him for about 10 years now. Member of the 2013 World Championship, the South Korean flag are flying everywhere in Fairbanks. It brings a lot of pride. Great job, Nikki. Okay, here we go. Alex Crittenden. Bon Durant, Wyoming. Her husband Sam's watching back home and all her sponsors are watching. She races quite a lot, folks. She gets around Wyoming and the circuits in the lower 48. In the last few years, we've been real lucky to have her up here. There she is, gonna have a moment. Thanking her handlers, bib number 10. That means Alex fi finished 10th yesterday. Remember, reverse start. Hi, guys. Quiet dog team, professional dog team. A couple barkers in here, but look at these guys, they're all nice and poised, focused. These dogs are beautiful. Open class sprint dog hound mixes, Alaska Husky hound mixes. All right, 30 seconds for Alex Gritton in here. Day two, Rondi. Go ahead and share the feed. Oh, the wheel, wheel dogs nice and calm. All the dogs get a blue marker or paint on them day one. So every dog that starts with team has got to be marked. Five, four, three, two, one, go! There she goes. Blasting off. Alex Crittenden, everybody. Very inspirational. Musher. Great ambassador for the sport. Heading down 4th Ave on a beautiful Saturday here, February. In Anchorage is just gorgeous. Okay, Don Cousins, everybody. Don Cousins is a favorite here. Just a favorite here. Don starting with all 16 dogs. Look at this lead dog, just wants to go. <laughs> we got a bunch of chocolate here and there. There's Don coming in. Stay with the thumbs up there. Right on. Boy, his leaders are super motivated. Don Cousins. All the way, three day drive from Canada. Sixteen dogs today, sixteen dogs yesterday. All are healthy. Don should hopefully move up a few positions today. He's very experienced in this race, but he's also a patient musher. And he always wants the best for everybody else, which is great spirit of the Rondi. Yesterday they did the same thing, they ran a little left. Let's see how he straightens them out there, controls the speed. Lots of folks, look at all the people lining well, well, 4th well, Ave. Hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people here in Anchorage today on this gorgeous day. If you're just joining us, you're about halfway through the start order. Wow. Look at all these beautiful people here. 
So many activities in Anchorage this week for the Fur Ronde. Again, we want to thank our sponsors. We could not do it without our sponsors, folks. We have to give them a shout out because without them, we wouldn't have radios like North Slope Telecom gave us radios. Linden and many other folks contributed energy money to make a purse. And it's just a phenomenal group effort to keep sled dog racing alive in the Mushing District of Anchorage, Alaska. Look at that guy. Let's go up and see this guy. <laughs> Almost like he's giving himself a high five. Dude. <laughs> Cheering on the team. Wow, you guys are beautiful. Wendy Ka Wendy Callis here from Fairbanks. Happy dogs. She had a great day yesterday. Talked to her this morning. She's just feeling good about her dog team. They had a good run up the hill yesterday. You can see how enthusiastic they are. Wendy Callis from Fairbanks, Alaska. Nice focus, look at her looking right down that trail. Got that drag mat on, that brake on, controlling that dog team, keeping it nice and lined out. Got to get 18 dogs out front. Look yesterday. at that. 624 is his time for the first day of racing. Great job, Wendy. Wendy. We're White all Harris proud of you. And you're Third great, one, happy dogs. Two, all right, Hans Gotts from Whitehorse, Yukon, with his wife Susie there in the red cap. Coming up on the left, Hans on the right. Alaskan Huskies got third place last year. Hans has won the Yukon Quest 1,000 mile race. He makes sleds and white horse. He's a heck of a nice guy. And he's just recovering from an injury he got in December. We'll take a good look at these Alaskan Huskies here. Yeah. Alaskan Huskies. At his finest here, a little longer coat, as you can see compared to those other teams. But these dogs can run effectively on this 25 mile track. Oh, you're a happy one, should we look at you? Cheering on the team here, telling them all a few pointers in the middle. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good dog. Uh, hey, you're a happy dog too. Huh? You're a happy dog too. smile on Hans's face. He's got his mat fully down there again. You're taking notes at home. Speed control, critical. Waving on to the crowd. Here's a man who was in the hospital in December with perforated intestines from a grooming accident. And here he is racing the Ferrande. How fantastic. Look at all these big crowds here today, friends. People everywhere in downtown Anchorage celebrating dogs, community, tradition, the city, the spring, the light. Beautiful day. All right, we have Tony Blanford here running the Streeper B team. So these are Streeper dogs for all you. There he goes, a great shot. There's good looking, focused dogs. There's Lena, but his husband, oh boy. Take a good look at these guys. The most famous bloodlines in the world. But he is trying to win his 10th this year. And Tony's trying to get on the podium with the B team. 
Bib number six up here. Fifteen. These dogs all come from Fort Nelson, yeah. British Columbia, from the Streeper Kennels. They are classic Streeper lines, Five, open class four, dogs. Shorter three, hair. Two, one, go. There you go. Tony's all focused there, keeping an eye on everything. Crowd cheering. Looking good. Tony Blanford famously on year one had an issue on this corner. That was about three, four years ago. Came back on year two, which was last year, and put up one of the fastest times on day two. This year he wants to get on the podium. So lots of perseverance for Tony Blanford. There he is heading down fourth half. Now we're into the top five from yesterday, friends. Top five from yesterday, right here. Bib number five. Andy Hewton from up in Banana and from Germany. Bib number five. Yeah. There's Andy coming down to greet his lead dogs, give him a kiss. Yeah. A lot of love exchange. If you're just joining us, we're in the top five now of day two start. So it was reverse order. We've already had a whole bunch of teams start, but now it's bib number five. And then we'll be going down. We'll end with Buddy. So the slowest team went out first, the fastest team will go out last. Yeah. Very excited crew here. <laughs> Look at that sled dog looking right down the trail. That's what a lead dog does. I want to go, I want to lead my team, and I want to do my job. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, go! There's Andy, nice and focused, nice and controlled. He's got a lot of streeper dogs in that line of his there. That's the kind of dogs he likes to get. Fast, open class dogs. Look at them, they're looking a little left there. But he's got them nice and controlled. Lots of people on the street here, friends. Just people everywhere. Come out uh, tomorrow, of course, and next year. At the line, this Look is at Greg that. Taylor, 13 dogs, Greg Taylor from the famous Mushing family up in Fairbanks, the Taylor family. Brother Richie right there, Ricky Taylor in the camel hat. Look at these small, nice, beautiful lead dog right there, all focused. <laughs> all right, fourth team. One minute. Fourth place team yesterday going out right now. Dogs looking back, waiting for a little command there. There's Ricky. Hey! How are we doing today? Hello, America. <laughs> Pray for me. Right on. Ricky's been a veteran here before. Greg's brother. There's Greg's wife down there with the uh, near the wheel dogs. Greg's talking 30 seconds ago. There's Greg, nice and relaxed. He'll get on his sled when he's comfortable. He's got about 18 seconds to go. So good to have her to hear. Five, four, three, two, one. There he goes. There he goes. Rick, Craig Taylor looking to move up today. Eddie Streeper said in the pregame discussion, this is the hard day today. You got to keep your team together, keep in pace. You can't go out too fast. It's a 25 mile race. If you go out two or three seconds too fast per mile pace average, you will lose that time typically at the end of the race by 10 or 15 seconds per mile. So you really have to stick to your game plan. It's very exciting to race in Anchorage. 
He says the gas but you got to have a game plan. Right. you got to stick with it. Dogs. Let's bring the camera back around now. Our bid number three, Michael Tetzner from Germany. He would love to keep having a good race here. He comes from Germany every year, brings his daughter and wife, flies the dogs over, leaves the dog truck here in Alaska, committed to the mushing community and to the dogs and the lifestyle. And here he is sitting in third place after day one. Michael Tetzner. I always enjoy interviewing him. He's humorous, he's witty, and he just puts so much into it. Quieter dog team here today. <laughs> Look at those beautiful dog legs and bodies there, are gorgeous. There's Michael. Talking to his lead dogs there with his wife. 30 seconds. So again, reverse start order means that the fastest teams are going right now. It's going to be Michael Tetzner right now. Then next up is Gary Markley, bib number two. And then next up is Buddy Streeper, bib number one. So share the feed. This is when it gets the most exciting in terms of fast teams. These are the teams that were the fastest yesterday. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Coming up to the line from Social Alaska, this is Gary Markley, the Flat Out Dogs, 58 years old, a pilot by occupation, wants to make everybody proud and have good clean Look at that, we got a beautiful, day. nice start from Michael. Right now, Always likes to wear green. With 13 dogs Sitting in third position today. For the from Germany. He's inspired to be watching all the great mushers at the How beautiful. Look at all these great people today Hartley. on the side of the road. Team fourth out, two. just packed. Number two. Three and four deep. Oh, oh yeah. The time of Look at this crowd here. here. We got VIPs everywhere. Woo. How's our crew here doing? Right on. <laughs> yeah. We're almost to the finish here. Two teams to go. Two teams to go. All right, we got Gary right now and then Buddy Streeper. It's on, folks. This is when it gets real here. One minute. These are the fast dogs. Yeah. Those guys, too. Yeah, babies. From Salt, Alaska, living out in beautiful country out there. Andrea Bond up front, the dog's mom, and a musher here, and a veteran of the race. And then her husband, Gary Markley, running, sitting in second position here. Oh, we got a singer here, don't we? <laughs> what are you singing? <laughs> 30 seconds. Here we go. Again, thanks to all of our sponsors. Thanks everybody on the feed, everybody who's being positive and commenting. And this is like the living scrapbook here. You're right downtown. You're right on the main street. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, go! There he is, Jerry Markley, running on down, looking good. Let's give him a nice look at those beautiful mountains here on the east. Down fourth, dog team moving, nice drag mat, keeping that speed control. One of white tangles here. Totally living the you dream. Know, I agree, Lori. Lori Jacobs and our online audience is fantastic today. Thanks so much, everybody. There goes Gary Markley, a good friend. Really proud of him. And here he is, the defending champion, nine-time champion, Buddy Streeper. The only person with more for rendezvous is the legendary George Atla. So if Buddy wins this weekend, he will tie. He will tie. George Atla. Here we go, friends. These dogs were screaming yesterday. They moved super well together. They train for this race in Fort Nelson. Big shout out to Terry back home and Eddie who's announcing upstairs and all the streepers. Big supporters of sled dog races. There's Buddy. <laughs> Doing a selfie. <laughs> right on, brother. There he is. Yesterday, super focused. We got him up uh, Cordova. That video just went up this morning. You can see him running with his sled. He is really focused this year. Hey, guys. Three seconds. 
Let's take a look at all these dogs. You can see nice, small, open class dogs. Very much like Ken Cheesick, Arlie Reynolds. Those type of smaller open class dogs, lighter frames, shorter hair. Unbelievable VO2 max, well over 200. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Yeah! 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 That's all of our dog mushrooms. There he goes. There's a whole lot of dogs there, friends. And look at their speed already. So you can hear the progress of the race. Woo! Buddy waving to the crowd. So again, the race starts from here, goes all through the parks, the swamps, the overpasses, the bridges, the culverts. Look at all these people everywhere. And it'll come back here and finish in just under two hours. So we'll go to Cordova Hill next. Go ahead and tune into KHAR 590 and look at all the crowd here in Anchors. Has so much to do today. There's booths and events, fireworks tonight. We're going to be there. Here you are. You're so welcome for the live feed, everybody. We appreciate all your support. And again, let's thank our sponsors here. In particular, I want to mention that the folks at North Slope Telecom, my thumbs point to them, they gave us the critical radios that we need all around the 25 mile track to communicate the times. And that's huge. We really appreciate all the sponsors. Everybody contributes something. Go ahead and show them your support. Ravenwood Veterinarian, they're here. They're taking care of the dogs. Look at all these people. The streets are open now. Hey, where'd you get your uh, your dog ears? Oh, cool. How was the parade? Where are y'all from? Let's all jam together for one second. There you go. The real humans in Anchorage having a good time. There we go. People wearing all their all their uh, new uh, antlers and dog ears, and they're all coming down and getting selfies and. They're getting, you can smell the food from the vendors. There's wonderful things you can support on the side streets and events everywhere, kiddos everywhere. Remember, if you bring your dogs, keep them on a leash. That's really important here. This is right in front of the, uh, oh my gosh, there's Amanda. And there's the Ferrani headquarters. So when you go inside here, there's all sorts of memorabilia. It's also the Dog Mushing Hall of Fame. It's also one of the coolest buildings in town. Look at it up there. That's with a live radio. Mike and Ed Streeper are up there in that window right now. So you want to be on 590 AM. There we go. There's some of our VIPs up in the VIP section. Waving. Right on. Okay. Thanks again to Anchorage Fire. To all the race vet uh, veterinarians who make this possible. To the royalty. To our race officials here, they're doing a little after action review here, talking about how the start went. So great. Hey guys, how was that? Great, fun. Is it pretty cool holding the sled dogs back? Is there a lot of power there? Do you almost lose them or no? The only one. <laughs> Which team was that? It was pretty early on though. Was it? And then you figured it out? But look at this, our fearless Anchorage Fire Department, they have a lot of responsibility year round between the snow and the wildfires and all the accidents and all the people get injured around here. Thanks so much. They are truly our saviors here in Anchorage and all over. There's your official time clock, friends. So this is what it looks like. 35 minutes already into this race. Let's go ahead and hear from Janet real quick how it went. How did day two start go? I'm telling you, it's so hippy. We're right on the edge. We're on, right on the heels of the parade. Right, I'm right. And the police officers look from their position on the parade to their position for the sled dog race. And the day supervisor has to just call and as soon as they get there, and it's like down to the wire. It came down to the wire. But you know what? That's what sprint racing is about. Right, exactly. I was just thinking, this reminds me a lot of wildfire, too. Everything comes together. Everybody's yeah. still working, coordinating, communicating. Right, making rapid decisions, doing Just what's best like and that. safest. Yes. Uh, when that call came through, it was such a relief. And then look, all those teams went out so beautifully. Oh, they did. It was a great start. Great crowd. Great crowd. Well over a thousand people here on fourth. Yeah, and by the way, nice to be on the sunny side of the street. Yes. See here was Janet saying we have beautiful sunshine all the way on. I was hanging out in that too. Well great, I'm gonna get ready to go to Cordova and thanks so much. Yeah, thank you.
Okay, here we go. I'm going to close out here, friends. That's our race marks with Dana Clark. We're going to go down to Cordova. Make sure to tune up to the radio station up there, 590 KHAR. That's also online for you international folks. Big shout out to everybody around the world who helped out today on the feed. See you soon.